Warbird fans. This is Pete with BananaHobby.com. This is your flight review of the brand new LX F4F Wildcat. This is available at BananaHobby.com and there's a couple of really fun things that go into this Wildcat that we're going to talk about really quickly here. First of all, this is EPO foam construction. The wingspan is 1200 millimeters and the ESC is 50 amp with an external UBEC. And the suggested LiPo power, first of all, is going to be a 2200 uh, 4S setup, anywhere 25C and or above, and uh, you're set to go. It's equipped with four, I believe it was four, digital micro servos, and the cool things about it is that the wings actually mechanically fold up, and then you can mechanically fold them back down for display purposes. It is extremely scale. Alex did a great job on the decals and on the paint because the paint is extremely nice. If you take a look at the bottom here, you can see the scale gears are just, it's just really nice. It tucks right up into the bottom of the fuselage here. And, uh, you know, builds in really low time at, as well. The battery compartment has a little bit of a wiggle room here where you could probably go a little bit higher if you take away some of the foam. However, the suggested 4S 2200 actually fits in the perfect and I'm getting a really nice long flight time out of it and it balances the center of gravity really well. A couple of key pointers here. First of all, the prop hub here, the prop adapter or the prop hub here, the prop bolt in the front, this is very scale and it's, it's also, also functional. So make sure that if you do lose this prop hub, when you first get it, get a weight reading because you could put actually just a regular nut on there. However, this is weighted for CG purposes for the nose weight with this, this stock prop hub. So make sure you don't, uh, you know, put a regular nut on there because it'll actually be tail heavy if you do so. So that is weighted. Get a weight of that and, you know, just to make sure you don't uh, get the CG off here. So let me go ahead and show you the retracts really quick here. I'm just going to put it up on the nose. Here, here we go. Check that out. How cool is that? That is a good looking wildcat with the wheels tucked in like that first one on the market that i've seen with this type of a retract system where if i hold it actually I'm hold it right here i don't want to push it with my hand so you can see the gears coming out there you go and they are down and locked and extremely scale the wing folding mechanism is right here this piece will actually is on a spring here it'll come up and then the wings will sweep back and i will just go ahead and show you these are thumb screws you just loosen them up and then you press back and then the wings will just swivel forward back just like that and then you can actually get that same thumb nut right there and uh, the shaft will go right back in and it'll lock it in place and then you can taxi with it or store it like that or however you choose to but we we will leave it down for now and then i will actually fold them up actually no let's go ahead and fold them up now so this way I'll taxi to the runway with the wings actually in the up position here. Here we go. They are locked there. And then remember here, this bay down here is strictly for your receiver. The battery does not mount here. The battery goes up on the top. I'll show you once again. Once we get over there, I'm going to go ahead and swivel the wing here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and press that into place. And we are going to lock. That's it. So the wings are now locked in place for this F4F. Again, your battery compartment is right here. There's a little clip on there, and you turn it, and uh, you pop the battery right off. So this is the F4F Wildcat, available at Banana Hobby. Fully EPO foam construction, and just looks really nice. Let's go ahead and give you a flat review and see what this little Wildcat can do here through the sunny skies of Southern California. Let's go to the runway.